Krishna Prasaya Devi So we will discuss now our present situation so we can see in ourselves what we're doing and where we are heading. So after listening and carefully trying to focus, to understand the science of devotional service, we can check in ourselves, all of us here, who are now here in Madana Mohan Academy, your occupation may be may different from one another. But all of us, we have this intention to achieve something. It depends upon the individuals who are here. So definitely, we have work here to do, but all of us have this intent in our heart to achieve something, to engage in activities that will enhance what we think is right and proper. So I'll discuss now about why an individual, us or all of us individuals, why we have this intention to achieve something, to get something, and we can check through the guidance of scripture, through the guidance that the science that we are trying to learn and understand, so we can see our situation. So individuals come to be focusing their life in searching for the truth, having someone to surrender, and that person is a supreme person. So, it differs how individuals uh, relate to God according to their upbringing, according to the influence of the culture, according to one's environment, what he hears, what he sees through his senses, and the important factor that determines one's goal is the knowledge that has, he has or she has been exposed to. But it all points out to finding relief. What is, what are, what is relief? Freedom from pain, suffering, freedom from all the miseries of this world. So poor individuals with different outlook comes in contact with the science of devotional service who comes in contact with this path that is being passed on by the saintly person, the bona fide spiritual master, and Krishna himself. One is always distressed. He's always in anxiety. He worries every day, every moment of his life. He's so much in distress, anxiety, depressed, and he wants relief. It depends on his exposure, 
what experience of suffering he experienced, but he wants relief. He's miserable. So he comes in contact with his science. He comes in contact with the teachers of and disciples of spiritual master who are following the instruction of this spiritual master centered around chanting. So he comes. I want relief from this suffering. And they tell him, chant the holy names. Have an environment that is conducive for purifying your existence. Because the reason you're suffering and miserable is because of ignorance. So the other one, who's very miserable also, who is always in anxiety, is someone who wants material wealth. So all of us, we have this intent to have something. So the, this person, he wants material amenities. He wants wealth. He wants to be alleviated from his poverty stricken status. So he goes out to this world. He goes to school or she goes to school. She sees all those rich individuals who have so who thinks they're winners because they have, they're very affluent. So she, he makes her go, she, she makes her goal or he makes his goal directed and focused in achieving what they have achieved. And when they, he comes in contact with the process, uh, his intent now is to be having this material wealth. He comes in contact with the spiritual master. And the other one is curious. He passed by at Madana, Mohan Academy, or he hears the radio, the holy names being chanted, Every time he opens the radio, the same sound, Hare Krishna Mantra, in different tunes, he becomes curious. How come it's being played day out, day in? And these people, if I pass that for years, since I was in grade school, I pass by to go to school, I hear them chanting. Do, are they, do they, how come they don't get, uh, it's the same sound. How come they're chanting it every day? And then he sees them dancing. And in his heart, he becomes curious because he's looking for happiness. And he comes in contact with his science. The other one is intelligent. He's intelligent. He thinks, he analyzes. I come here with nothing. And I'm going to live with nothing. Because at the time of death, I leave everything behind. The security that is being taught to me, put forward to me, that I can have and achieve. There is no answer to the question of who am I, what is death, what is real happiness and fulfillment. And he begins to ponder, meditate, and ask questions in his mind. But the mind cannot answer. All The mind is a, is a big question mark. It gives suggestion with an answer of question. There is no really solid foundation. So he comes in contact with the science. And he applies it in his life. So it's like this. When a person is drowning, the element of air is very important for him. So all of us struggling in this world, we want shelter, we want refuge, fulfillment of the heart that gives calm 
and soberness that we are experiencing a solid foundation of shelter. We come in contact with the science, but because we have different intention, we have different motives, we engage in this process differently with different intention. But the science is all purifying because the Supreme Person gives this opportunity to protect us. Just like a person is drowning, he may be in a body of a Filipino, in a body of a Caucasian, or a poor person, a rich person, but if they're all drowning, they need air. So what do we really need? We really need a connection with that shelter and love in pure devotional service of protection from God. But our relationship with the Supreme Person differs the intensity. Just like in this world, the intensity of someone, for example, someone who's really, when he comes to the point of adolescence, his attraction for play is not anymore focused upon playing because he passed that stage of childhood. Now he's attracted to someone. Before, his attractions are centered around toys. Upon playing, you know, his dreams, he sees all those so-called uh, individuals whom he tries to imagine and identifies himself that he's one with them. Like Superman, Batman, you know, X-Men. But when you come to the point wherein a different stage, a young man becomes attracted to the opposite sex. And he relates. His motivation now, his intent, is to offer his love to that person. So if you can look closely and understand, all of us, we come to the point of wanting and longing to have someone to love. And it can only be addressed with the path that is absolute and eternal, that is our true nature. Our true nature is we are eternal. And our true eternal activities is to experience this loving reciprocation with the Supreme Person. And through the science of devotional service, we can understand the science from someone who loves the Supreme Person, who relates to the Supreme Person, who is a confidential loving servant of the Supreme Person. And in scripture, it is described that they are residents of the spiritual world, they know and they are in a world of pure devotional service. So we can check now if we're making progress. One time, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he was telling me, he was talking to his mother, trying to discuss about what he should do. He said, I want to serve God. I want to be knowing Him, surrendering to Him. But the mother tells him, Son, carry on with the struggle we're doing. Look at us. We're very wealthy. And the mother, they said, we, the son said, you're going to leave everything behind, Ma. And it does not really satisfy my longing for security because I know that I'll be leaving all of this. What will I be having when I leave this? I come here because I come here with so many material things because 
You love me so much, you have endeavored so much, but you yourself, you'll be leaving everything behind. And the mother's idea is, you know, I said, it's better to die with a full stomach, son, than to die cring cringing with pain, no food. <coughs> and the son said, I cannot talk, uh, son, yeah, I cannot talk, uh, reason, I cannot reason with my ma mom because her idea of security is economic development, not understanding the science that she can direct and fulfill her longing for security when she understands that her struggle in this world can be <coughs> in harmony with pleasing God by working for the Supreme Person and offering what belongs to the Supreme Person to please Him. But he is having a hard time giving his reason to his mom and they have no common platform. So all of us have different intention. But the bottom line is that we're looking for someone to love, to have shelter. One time my friend also who prior to coming to the science he's really miserable now he's in United States of America he came from a very poor country PI third world country what they say that uh, poor people like us because he is very poor through his karma he came to be able to go to the land of milk and honey and when he comes to the Philippines he tells us you know Philippines so dirty yucky I don't want to stay here you know and he tells us you know in that land everything is organized you know it's heaven yeah but we're just watching him not understanding that wherever you go in this world that follows you because this body is connected with time and the body is destined to suffer and if the relief we want is just material amenities it's like this what is trying to tell us is that you know i'm gonna live in that nice place it's like here in our country in the philippines if we're very poor you go to the hospital like in our provincial hospital, the place is so crowded. Some people, they bring their bed, they sleep on the floor just to wait for the doctor to cure their diseases. All of them, the, 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 the whole place, it's filled up with people. And they have to make way to put more beds so people can be accommodated. What he's saying to us is, you know, I'd rather live in a dead world wherein I am in ICU while waiting for the time I'm going to leave this world. It's air conditioned, you know, the environment is cool. I have a hard time breathing and there's oxygen and the doctor is there and the cushion where I, my body is laying down, it's so cool and I'll die not in misery. Same. All of us in, in the same boat. We're all drowning. We need air. So his idea, he comes here no, tells us, poor, 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 poor you. And we just smile at him and said, this guy is a fool, man. We're so ignorant. He's drowning. 
He needs air. Have you seen all those individuals who are really being appreciated as the greatest singer who sings the greatest love of all? And all the people with all the big jockeys here sings to their heart out, trying to squeeze something. The greatest love of all. That empty word of I will love you forever. Who, who will you love forever? And they sing songs, the stupid song. I will, will be, I will wait here forever for you. Yeah, sure. You can be here suffering eternally, waiting for your death on and on and on and on. Because you'll be staying in this world of death, having this body on and on and on. And what are the experiences that all these people experience? It is an empty heart, a troubled mind, insecurity, depression, loneliness. Loneliness that kills them. That they don't want to experience this loneliness and they're now very lonely in this cold world. So they need something that can fulfill, try to cover it up. They need this hot, burning liquor, 99% alcohol, that the, the coldness in their heart, the emptiness. They drink to death and they died drinking and taking intoxication. So we should open our eyes that the solution that materialism is offering will not satisfy our longing for that air, everybody who are drowning in this miserable world looking for. It's not the perfect wife, the perfect husband, the perfect child, the perfect environment. This material world it's God's mercy upon us to educate us that we are not in our real home. But how come we are clinging to these miseries? Because we cling to this body. I am this body. I want to take I want to solve the problems that I am facing with the science of materialism. The science of nations or ignorance. You're drowning. You need air. Just like a fish. Who's in the, on the shore. And everybody looking at the gasping fish. Oh. He's having a hard time. It's so hard. Put him in a place. Where he can. Buy an air condition. You know. He's feeling cold. No one to embrace him. Give him. Why not get another goldfish. Who is also drowning. Who is also gasping. And they embrace one another. So this is a world where everybody is cheating one another. Offering something. That will not really give us protection. But with this science, we can understand our predicament now. I have this body. I want to survive. So instead of following the song that the singers are doing, that you know, you go to this uh, uh, networking and they try to hype you. The song. You know that song? You know the song? I will survive. But the process is not about survival. It's just like a fish out of water on the seashore and they're trying to tell us that fish can survive. Put him in a bed, put him, give him a lot of food, give him a new girlfriend, another goldfish who's also dying. No, that is our situation. But with the science, through the guidance of the spiritual master, we can understand 
that yes, I am temporary in this material world. I have this facility, this body, this machine I can use. How can I connect it? By offering it to the owner. Everything animate or inanimate that is within this universe is owned by God, our eternal friend. He gives us these facilities because we want to live a life separate from Him. We want to imitate Him. We want to play Lord, to give our love, to take love. But that is not our natural position and function. Our natural position and function is to be eternally in the world of happiness, the world of joy, and that joy can be achieved while even we are in this world. God comes, gives us relief. The air we're looking comes. Now we must learn the science how to love Him, how to surrender to Him that gives fulfillment to the heart. And then, when we understand that, we can see now the mind that separates us, how we can be directed in the word of love. And then we can now distinguish what we should do. The mind tells us, focus upon the sun. But we know we need air. We have to get out of this drowning situation and have the Breathe the air, and that air is life, life for life. Why are we suffering? Because our life, life by nature, a different energy, is trying to find fulfillment in dead matter, a different energy, either in the form of a woman, in the form of a man, land, building, and everything, the environment, the person who, is, who has this temporary relief. Now is this in ICU before, previously, we are all in this hospital dying in this material world. But now he's given this, he's given an entitlement. He's in the land of milk and honey. Where everybody is longing to be we, to be, I want to go, immigrate in the land of milk and honey, the United States of California, where all the stars are there dying, taking drugs, trying to show up, look what I have, cars, look at the beauty I have, this beauty, and not understanding that within the, each one's heart, it's a facade they try to portray. What are they trying to portray? Look what I've got. But deep within them, they have this insecurity. The time takes away this temporary beauty that I see with my eyes. People are, I'm a star now. Tomorrow, I'm history. Somebody comes. Just like music, somebody comes with, he can manipulate what has been chewed. And his body is young when he sings. You know, all the girls, they become mesmerized, you know. They paint, you know. They go crazy, pull their hair, take off their clothes, and want to give their heart to that person. That's what everybody is doing here. With all this, you know, Korean, what's that they call now? All those dancers, you know. We want to give our heart to that form, to that illusion. So when you chant the holy names of Lord Krishna, we become purified. We can see the mind. We can see the false ego. We see what separates us. And the process of purification is an eternal connection with that love, because at the time we follow the process, the instruction of Lord Krishna, that will connect our life with the source of life, the source of joy. So individuals who come in contact with the holy names with different intent, someone who's really poor, someone who's really miserable, who's 
have married many, many times and just divorced many times. You know, he's so miserable. His son leaves him, you know. Nobody loves him. He's a, he has no job. He's a, he's a bummer. He's like a hobo around. He's so miserable. But sometimes when you got nothing, you got nothing to lose. You go to the holy names in Krishna and it gives you connection. Material wealth, after some times, there's the story of someone who Dhruva Maharaj, his father denied him to have this position to be the king, the emperor, and in his meditation, he wants a kingdom greater than his father. So he went to Lord Krishna in the forest, guided by the spiritual master, and meditated upon, he meditated upon the Lord within the heart, focused his mind, his whole being, upon the Supreme Person. But when he succeeded in his austerity to be with God and Lord Krishna came to him to offer him what he wants. Before he said, I want a greater kingdom, greater than the, my father. But now you're in front of me. I wish nothing. I simply want to be engaged in loving meditation in remembering you and doing your will to be close with you. So we have different intention, but all of this can be one pointedly be successful when we follow this path. Just like when we're looking for air, there's someone riding on a boat, all of us are drowning, the spiritual master comes with this transcendental boat and it tells us, come, hold my hands. I'll pull you, but oh, it's so hard. You're pulling, you're making it very hard for me. You're there trying to struggle to get air. And it tells you, just hold on. So all of us were in the disease condition. We've been here so much stuck. Our mind, our interest, so much focus and stuck to this world. So when we follow this path, some. We experience this separation from all this false security. But after a while, when we have clarity of mind through the process that will purify us with this transcendental understanding, we now see what really gives us pain. That all my attachment in this world, selfish attachment, is the cause of my pain. But when my heart is directed upon this shelter of doing the will of God, then this world that gives me pain, I leave it behind. While I, even though I am in this world experiencing all this suffering, misery is caused by the mind, misery is caused by material nature, misery is caused by other living entities. Now, there's this misery that everybody is so apprehensive. What is it connected with? It's connected with death. Death of this body. And what if our focus is to take shelter of this body, just give amenities to this body, make it comfortable. And if you are not the body, and you identify with the body, then you'll be very miserable. Just like when a person... He goes to the land of milk and honey. That was before. Uh, until China becomes number one. And a lot of so-called rich people are now in poverty stricken. We should not be like that rabbit that in the face of danger where he cannot move anymore, his <coughs> back is on the wall, 
He just closes his eyes and make believe there's no danger, there's no gen danger. But the big bad wolf is there, the hyena is there. So what will you do? All of us here, will we make believe there's no danger? Wherein, while we are in this body, destined to experience death, destined to experience the pain, the three modes, the pain of suffering caused by material nature, caused by other living entities, and this is struggle so hard to survive eternally in this body. The main problem everybody has is, I will die if I will not work. I'm not saying you should not take care of your responsibility to take care of your body. But you, say, you see, when I was traveling, I was, you know what happened? I was in this boat before I used to go around, the distribute, I ride this boat. You know, at 12 o'clock, everybody knows that they have to eat lunch. They go there. But the cook was not able to cook on time. It's still being uh, broiled and boiled and the server is there and everybody is there looking at him, cursing him because they're thinking if I don't eat lunch, I'm gonna die I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die and there's commotion and they begin to fight with one another so you look at ourselves now try to see our situation be analytical so, what I gave us an example, we can see where we stand. We can see our situation. Am I wanting material wealth? Am I wanting relief from my distress? Am I curious or am I intelligent? But in either case, all of us who comes in contact with Krishna have this opportunity to be in a transcendental world in loving connection with Him achievable, true, listening, and applying it in our lives. So it's up to you. What kind of life you would want to live. So Haribol, Namaste. So let's chant the holy names and have the air we're looking for. It is our connection with life. Haribol, Namaste.
Shabbat shalom.